So what is shiny object syndrome? Okay, we all know what this is. It's like, I need that. I need that. Oh, there's a butterfly. My sister and I always called it, it's uh, the shiny butterfly, the sparkly butterfly syndrome, where we're constantly being distracted by what's not moving us forward. So I want to give you my five best tips today about how to move forward in your business and stay really intentional and really stop getting distracted by all the shiny things. Okay, so my first tip for you is to be intentional. So every week, every month, every day, write down what your intentions are for your life, for your business. Stay on top of those, okay? They can evolve, they can change. So for me in my business, I intend to make X amount of money. In my personal life, I intend to work out X days a week. Um, it's really important for us to set the intention at the beginning of the week. If you don't do it the beginning of the week, fine. If it's Wednesday and you're like, okay, here we go, let's set our intention, let's move forward it. Yeah, and stay on top of these intentions. I look at my intentions every morning when I wake up and every night before I go to bed. So let's be intentional about what we're doing with our life. That's gonna move us forward quicker no matter what we do. So my second great tip is to focus on one thing at a time, okay? It's so easy, like I used to love in high school to watch TV and do my homework. Well, guess what? When you wanna run a seven-figure business, you can't watch TV and do your homework. So focusing on one thing at a time is really gonna help you move through, through those tasks very quickly, very easily. And when you're focused on that one thing, you're giving it your all. You're giving it your full attention and intention, right? So it's really important to really focus on that one thing at a time because multitasking doesn't do anything for anyone. You're right. Okay, third, guys, have a daily schedule, okay? So if you find yourself getting distracted a lot during your day, maybe you have kids, maybe you've got a lot going on in your life, it's really important to have a daily schedule. I'm kind of crazy. I keep an iCal and a Google Cal, and then I actually also, every morning when I wake up, I write out by hour <laughs> what I'm going to do. Don't get me wrong, it doesn't always play out the way I think it's going to, but at least I have it set and it's written and I know by hour what I want to be doing, okay? That is so important to have, be able to have that focus is to be really able to put that schedule into work for yourself. And if you don't know what your schedule is right now, that's okay. What I think the best thing to do is go through a week and um, print out a daily schedule and mark what are you doing at those hours okay so just observe for a week that's the best way to kind of then revamp and get to a spot where then you are in creation of your schedule right because the worst thing is when the day gets away from us and we're like what do we do like I don't do anything today <laughs> it's terrible right so by having that daily schedule it's going to be important for you to follow that daily schedule and as you're following the schedule you're focusing on that one thing at a time right so it's really easy to, to do all this kind of in um, in tandem with each other right okay guys so Tip number four for preventing shiny object syndrome is to really set goals that rate, relate back to those intentions, right, that we talked about. So the number one, my number one tip was to set intentions. My number two is that um, to really create goals around those intentions. So have an end game for those intentions, right? So I desire to have X amount by when? You know, what does that look like? Um, set a date, set a time, be very specific about what you desire and what those goals look like to you, okay? All right, so number five, my last tip on how to prevent shiny object syndrome is to use timers, okay? So this is a crazy tip that I picked up from my sister. She's a behavioral psychologist. She works with kids. And she is all about the timer, guys. <laughs> so I've picked this up in my business and it has helped me in a huge way, okay? So what I do is I have my intention, then I have my schedule, I have my goals, and then as I get into each of those parts of my day, I set a timer. So let's say I'm doing something that I don't really like doing, like folding laundry, or um, even maybe just like paying my bills, like something that's a little bit icky, is I set timers. Okay, so I set it for 20 minutes. I set it for 10 minutes, short chunks of time. And when that 
that timer goes off, I do a little happy dance because I'm psyched that it's over, right? So timers work. So I am so excited that you guys joined me for my five ways to prevent shiny object syndrome in your business. 